My name is Brian Storkel, and my film is called Holy Rollers, The True Story of Card Counting Christians. The guy that I went to school with in, I think, second or third grade up in Seattle, um, I kind of kept in touch with him, was good friends with him over the years, and um, every time I'd go back to Seattle, he would tell me about this thing. And after a couple years of him telling me stories, and one time he showed up at lunch and he had like $80,000 in his pockets, I was like, oh, this is, this is crazy. So I just, I kept thinking about it, I kept thinking about it, and I was like, okay, I finally, I have to do a, do a film about this. So the, the interesting part about this, this story is that most of these guys that learn to count cards, they learn from other, their friends who happen to be parts of their churches and stuff. So it spread, uh, basically one, you know, pastor would tell another pastor who would tell, you know, um, other people in his church. One of the big deals was we thought once we released it, they would be outed and then they wouldn't be able to play anymore. Um, but most of the people in the, we found out have only about a two-year lifespan. So at the point that we finished the film, um, there's really there, I think there's one person in the film, one or two that are still playing. So most of them aren't, you know, are no longer doing it. Uh, we called hundreds of casinos to try to get permission. Um, it took quite a bit of work, and we got permission from a few of them, uh, where we were able to come and film full access. Um, there were actually, you know, other ones that didn't want us there. Um, it was kind of a hard sell to say, hey, can we bring our card counters in and let them uh, take money from you and film it. Um, they weren't too, too happy about that. Um, so we ended up doing some other things where we were, you know, used some smaller touristy like cameras. Um, we also had somebody at one point with a button camera that did some hidden camera stuff and things like that. It, there was a couple casinos that, you know, we followed people around and they were completely real reactions. They were, you know, um, showing us around their casino, talking about card counting, um, trying to catch card counters. Um, it was the, the real deal. I'm an editor and I make most of my money doing that, so I, I financed a lot of the film myself. Um, some of the other, you know, actually two of the guys on the team financed some of it with some card counting money. Um, so it was a mix of money. The whole project was about four years in length uh, with filming and editing. Uh, the edit was off and on, you know, it's been going for three years. We, we started, you know, while we were still shooting. Um, so it took a long time. We had 150 hours of footage that we had to somehow make a, make a story out of. We, it was difficult finding the story um, at times. We weren't sure where it was headed. I wasn't sure if someone was going to end up in jail, someone was going to get killed, um, you know, wh who, knew, who knew what was going to happen. So we were looking for little bits and pieces and we ended up having um, just some things that fell in our lap as far as uh, story-wise. Um, the big kind of conflict in the story just, just came up and it, you know, we, it, it, it took a while of actually we, you know, editing little segments and finally they started, you know, coming together like a puzzle. I heard about the Arclight Film Festival, I think through the, I think through an email, because I'm on the Arclight uh, email. So we've been already touring, you know, f the festival circuit for a couple months, a few months now, and um, haven't played in Hollywood yet, so I thought this could be a really great opportunity to show it here, here at home. I'm really excited to show, show it Arclight. Arclight's one of my favorite theaters, you know, uh, around, and so it's going to be a great experience to have the film play there.